Hello and welcome to Raggy's Tap Room, home of beer reviews, my beer reviews at least. And uh, so tonight I've just had a, a, um, a private message from Ali from the beer community and uh, her and her husband are coming to Nottingham for three days uh, for his birthday uh, and to venture around the um, craft beer bars and tap rooms of Nottingham. So let's dive in, let's explore. Now for this, I'm gonna keep it relatively to the city centre. Uh, we don't wanna be going too far out. So first and foremost, Neon Raptor. You know, Neon Raptor's tap room, there's 12 different keg lines in there, usually 12 anyway, at any one time. This weekend, there's the Barrel Age Centaur Army release that you, you've got to try. I need to get down to try it and review it. And hopefully I'll either get it on keg or, or whatever. Um, don't really want to drive down because the wife's just come out of um, operation. So I've got to be careful there. Um, there's a Castle Rock collab on there as well. Um, and yeah, it's a must visit place. In Nottingham, so that's the Snenton area of Nottingham. Literally, a stone's throw, and yeah, it's not much of a stone because um, Fox and Grapes Castle Rock pub is round the corner. Wow, another cracking pub. Plenty of cask lines in there, plenty of keg stuff in the fridge. Same as Neon Raptor, there's plenty of stuff in the fridge. Bring your pennies, you know. So, you know, this is. Raggy's Guide to Nottingham Craft Beer Pubs. Now, these are the pubs I've been in. There may well be other pubs, but hey-ho. So that's Fox and Grapes, another must-visit pub. Um, pause. And there we are, we're back. Um, yeah, so you've got those two. Literally, a stone's throw again. You've got the Partisan Tavern. This is an excellent micro-pub, in, again in the Snenton area of Nottingham. Um, so so many keg lines and cast lines, good stocked fridge, plenty of ciders in there, proper ciders as well, not that, you know, other stuff. And and the people who own it are fantastic. The people who own all these are fantastic. I know all of them. Next door to that, literally another stone's throw, is the King Billy. Um, a really old fashioned pub, bit of food on the bar. Um, They'll have a few cask lines that might be of interest. Uh, it's, it's an interesting pub to go into, you know, a real uh, good old fashioned pub. So, 500 yards away from there, we've got Liquid Lights Tap Room. Um, that also is uh, Tom, the owner, the head brew owner, um, cracking bloke, um, an, an amazing tap room for you to go and visit. Uh, plenty of lines on keg, they'll have merch there. They'll have merch at Neon Raptor as well, what they should do. Um, and stuff in the fridge. And you get to see, you get to sit in the brewery. And sometimes there's food on. Same at Neon Raptor, sometimes if you're lucky on the right weekend, there's good food on as well. So that's Liquid Light. From there, coming back the ways, you've got the Bath Inn. The Bath Inn, they have um, a lot a different beers on another little micro pub type thing I think it was a chip shop at one stage um, I've actually never been in there but I have I do know of it so we're walking back the ways now you've got Brewdog Nottingham I think that's on St James's Street uh, again lots of different beers in there good fridge um, cracking place to visit you know, brew dog in it, um, and uh, they that fancy teku glasses. One of these days, I'll get a bloody teku glass. But um, yeah, that is another belt in place. Just around the corner from uh, brew dog Nottingham, you've got the six barrel draft house in Hockley. So there again, sometimes a bit it's a miss. I find um, when we went in. They didn't really have a great selection, but I know that they have. They, they had they had a bang the elephant thing going off the other night. Um, 
So Barrel Aged Obi Wan, the, um, the Emperor's Brewery collab. So yeah, uh, worth putting that on your radar. Another pub to put on your radar in that same area is the Angel Microbrewery. Um, plenty of cast lines. They've got their own little. They've got their own pools in there of their own beer. Um, yeah, cracking pub. So we're moving into the lace market now. You've got the Keen's Head, uh, Castle Rock Brewery, single room pub, lots of cask, lots of keg, absolutely stunning pub to visit. That's in the lace market. Literally around the corner from that is the Cock and Hoop. Again, fantastic fridge full of beers. Um, so many on ca cask. So many on keg, certainly another um, must visit pub on your uh, Ray Round Nottingham. In that area as well, you've got Cross Keys, um, Navigation Beers will be on in there, Navigation Brewery Beers, um, American, I nearly forgot the name of it then, I get my backside kicked by my mates if, if that happened. But yeah, American is on there, the second best cask in the UK last year. So worth trying on cask. It's also, it may well be on keg as well. Up the road from there, you've got the Kilpin Beer Calf. Um, and next door to that, you've got Junkyard. So Kilpin Beer Calf, loads of German, um, Belgian beers in bottles, some good cask lines as well. Uh, a bit of Belgian on cask, I think, as well, if I remember rightly. Next door, obviously, you've got the junkyard. Um, and again, in there, good good fridges. A good 12, I think it was 12 lines of keg. Someone's bound to comment. I'm going to put this on the internet. I'm going to link to all these pubs. Uh, you're here for three days. There's a good amount of pubs you can get round. Um, and uh, people watching this, feel free to add your pubs to the equation. You know, it's all about those people who come to Nottingham looking and getting those pubs in. So anyway, um, there's, a, there's, I can't remember the flipping name of it, but there's a 30 tap. There's a pub with 30 taps on, keg taps, uh, but the names escaped me. No, no. So if we walk down from there, towards the train station area. So the train station area, you've got the Barley Twist, funnily enough, another Castle Rock bar. Lots of different beers on in there. You've got the Pilot Project. Basically, that this week, they've got Atom beers collabed on there. One day, one day, there'll be a Raggy collab. Oh, maybe, hey. I can but push. And uh, one day, hey. Castle Rock, hey. Big impy stout. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, cracking little place in there. Lots, lots of keg and cask again. Well worth a visit. Literally, the other side of the train station, the Vatten Fiddle, Castle Rock Breweries, um, tap bar, and again in there, a stunning amount of cask and keg in there. Um, cracking place to go to. Um, you'll love it. So, next door to the train station, Beerheads, I nearly forgot the name, sacrilege that I forget names, you've got Beerheads, um, and again, good range of, a few, few cask, good bit of keg in there, uh, well worth a visit. So, we walk back into town now, and uh, you go to your, you come past the train station, you go to your left, you've got the Castle Rock again, Canal House Bar. The Canal House Bar is, um, you walk in and there's a barge, two barges in the bar. And you have to walk over a little bridge, depending on which side you walk in, mind. And again, in there, great beer fridges, loads of cask and keg, um, bloody stunning place. And you can eat in there as well. Um, you can also eat in the bat and fiddle. I know hospitality has been having some issues just recently uh, because of, you know, pe getting people to stay in the trade. It's not easy. Um, bloody COVID, obviously. 
So from there, we walk. Um, there is the trip to Jerusalem, the oldest pub in one of the oldest pubs in the country. Uh, it's a Green King pub, so it's up to you. Uh, I haven't been it for years. Uh, I'm not bothered about a Green King, to be honest. You got the salutation in, and again, uh, it's it's a pub of history. But not really a crap beer pub. So we'll move away from there. We'll walk into Nottingham City Centre. To the Market Square. Just off the Market Square. There's a place called Hertz Yard. And there's a little micro pub there. Uh, it was Magpie Brewery. They still have a lot of Magpie Brewery beers on in there. So in some ways it's like the inner city Magpie Brewery tap room. So you've got to go. Um... And if, if Amy's behind the bar, say hello to Amy. Say, Raggy sent me. <laughs> and yeah, there's a good bench, cask, keg and beers in fridges there. So from there, we're going to walk up. Um, there is a place where me and Bo Bowman Beer Reviews went to and I cannot remember for the life of me. Uh, jam calf, jam calf. So if you're good with sat-navs, because I'm crap with walking sat-navs, uh, the Jam Calf is also in the Hockley area. So, like with the junk yard and that. And uh, if you see people in the junk, any of these pubs, say, that raggy reviewer <laughs> told us to come along. Just be interested to see if they actually know and take any notice. You know, it'd be funny. It'd be funny anyway. They'll probably say, never heard of him. And uh, yeah, probably haven't. <laughs> so anyway. From there, you go to an area called Cannon Circus. It's not far away from the barrel drop. So you walk up to Cannon Circus. You've got Lincoln Green Brewing Company's um, Sir John Belay's Warren. Nearly forgot the bloody name of it. Um, up there. You've also got another little micro pub called The Whistle and Flute. But I'm not sure if that's more of a sporty thing now. But anyway, Sir John Belay's Warren. If you're going this weekend, there's a good chance all the Lincoln Green keg beers are on. Uh, they've got an extra bar with the kegs on. But they've also got plenty of cask in there. Absolute must-do pub. Round the corner, you've got Blue Monkey's organ grinder. Blue Monkey. Um, another place. Great load of cask beer in there. They should have keg on that. But they may have in the fridges as well. Be sure to check out New Hampshire IPA. Um, now, if you're, fe if you're feeling adventurous, jump on the tram, go to Baseford, check if they're open, they're open on Friday and Saturday. Um, Black Iris Brewery's tap room in the Baseford area. Um, again, a must visit place on your itinerary in Nottingham. Um, next door is the Lion, um, great for casking as well. So that's that's the base for the area. Then you'd get back on the um, tram and go back into town. Now on that same tram, go to a place called Beeston. In Beeston, um, obviously get your sat nav out, use your sat nav, ask people. Uh, in Beeston. There's a place, there's a load of good pubs. It's a bloody haven for great pubs. You've got Totally Brewed's Tap Room called Totally Tat, a must visit location. You've got the Pottle Micro Pub, a cracking little place that has quite a few Bang the Elephant beers. So, in, in some ways, let me have a wet my whistle. In some ways, it's like a, an unofficial Bang the Elephant um, tap because of the amount of Bang the Elephant they have in there. It's a great, and again, a good fridge in there, uh, cask and keg beer, great little place in Beeston. Crown Inn in Beeston, again, stunning amounts of cask and keg, absolute top-notch place to visit. Star Inn in Beeston, again, Loads of good cask in there. Um, they ain't got no keg, to be fair. But good good selection of cask. 
And there's also the chance that on Saturday afternoons, there's a chance that I'll also be in Beeston. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, there are other places um, in Nottingham, but for me, you've also got in West Bridgeford, you, you know, that area, you've got the Trent Navigation, which is Navigation's pub it, it, near the county ground, Notts County ground. Um, Magpie Brewery's tap room sometimes is open around the corner. Or they, although on the match day, it's best to avoid both because they'll be rammed. Although the atmosphere is bloody stunning. Um, and that's that's my guide to... There may be other places that I'm bound to be... Someone is bound to say, Raggy, you forgot this pub and that pub. But this is my quick guide to the craft beer pubs of Nottingham. The must visit pubs. There are others. Bunkers Hill is another place. I've not been in years, to be fair. Um, but you can't go wrong with all of them. Trust me. Anybody who wants to add to these pubs, um, Kent Beer Reviews, Bowman Beer Reviews, Mr. Craft Beer Basic, the absolute king of Nottingham's pubs, because he works in them. And he works at the Neon Raptor. Bloody stunning bloke. Um, please, you know, um, if any of you can comment on as well. So that's my guide to the pubs that you must visit when you come to Nottingham. The Craft Beer Pubs of Nottingham. Thank you all. Cheers.